Hello, and welcome to Queen's Crafts by Bridget. I'm Bridget. Thank you for joining me today. Whether you're new here or you've been around since the very beginning, I truly do appreciate you coming by and spending some time with me. You can also find me on Instagram. You can find me on my Facebook group page, or you can reach me directly at my email. Uh, which is linked down in the description box below. We are creeping ever so slowly to the 1500 uh, subscriber uh, goal. If you don't know about the giveaway, please do check out the link in the description box. I do have a giveaway that will activate as soon as I hit 1500 subscribers. I am coming in here today, first off, to tell you who our winners for the cauldron draw for last video were. Now these people go into the cauldron and then be the very beginning of the next month, I draw a name and that person gets a box of yarn, which I still need to put together for this month. Uh, last month's winner uh, said that they um, really don't need that kind of yarn, which is completely understandable. That's the exact reason I'm getting rid of it. Uh, so instead of sending it to her, I am going to donate it to a local nursing home or church, whichever one I can find first that will take the yarn. And I will put it in her name and honor because she so graciously uh, decided to pass her winnings along. Now for the cauldron this time, we have Miss Kim G. We have Lisa Knits. And we have Mary's Fiber Creations. Congratulations, ladies. I will put this in the cauldron as soon as this video has closed. Now, just an update on the yarn and fiber that I have for sale to earn the money to get my yarn for my wedding dress. And um, I have two yarns left, one that's waiting to pay and I have all three fibers left so if you are a spinner and you're interested in one of those fibers let me know if you are a person that does not spin and you would be interested in buying the yarn from that fiber I would most definitely be happy to spin that up for you as soon as I can possibly get the time to do it which wouldn't take me very long. The two yarns that we have left I'll show you real quick is the pink multi and we have the light purple and blue. And now it really is a light purple. It is not um, pink. I mean, there's pinkish tones to it, but it's much more purple than it is pink. Uh, now this one will self-stripe, especially if you knit with it. Oh, excuse me. I've just had dinner and it was delicious, but my belly is talking. <laughs> It will sell stripe if you knit with it, but it will also sell stripe if you crochet with it and make a smaller project. Obviously use a smaller hook as well as it is a number one weight yarn. Now I do understand not everybody can work with wool and not everybody likes thin yarn. So I do completely understand that. Um, but just a little reminder and letting you know that there are these two available Still, now I have ordered the yarn. I still, however, need um, to get some more dye so that I have enough to make a consistent dye throughout the amount of yarn that I'm going to need. Because obviously, I, as much as I love the way that uh, this top uh, looks with the different dye lots, with my wedding dress, I am trying, I'm really wanting to do a much more consistent color throughout. Um, now this, yes, I have just completed this out of the wonderful Thrifts and Stitches yarn or Full Spectrums uh, yarn. Now this is my colorway and it was also the, uh, the colorway for February and its name is Queen of Hearts. It's a two weight, this one here is a two weight yarn um, because that's what I really, really enjoy working with. I like working with ones, twos, and threes the very most. I do do some fours. I hardly ever touch a five. Matter of fact, I've gotten rid of almost all of them out of my house. And I do enjoy working with uh, lace weight and thread as well. I just don't do it as often. Now, I'm going to probably over here put in a video of me doing a little catwalk. Um, 
with the top on so that you can see it fully. Now I'll get up a little closer. I did put in just a little bit of a peekaboo because I like to have just a little bit of sass. Your girl likes to have, you know, likes to look nice, but wants to have that little bit of mm -mm -mm as well. So <laughs> that's how I did it. Now I, um, what I, all I did was I started with single crochet or sing, foundation single crochets and I did 24 on this side, 24 on this side. Um, I can't remember what I started with. I, I ended up redoing, um, the, the shoulder section quite a few times until I was happy with how it started and how it was looking. And then I did 48 across the back. Now here, um, I did some increasing and some decreasing and some, you know, funky stuff. And I ended up, I connected it up at the top at the end. Um, so this actually started out as back and forth until I connected underneath the arms. And then I started working in the round. When I got to the end of the very first ball, I decided I was going to do the sleeves uh, next just to make sure that I had enough yarn to do the sleeves to the length that I was wanting them. And I can see, I'll put you guys down just a little bit. There we go. You can see the sleeves don't come down, but to my elbow. And I did put a cuff in and then a single crochet all the way around to keep it where I wanted. And then I reattached and started working the body. Ended up breaking into the third ball. But I have about a half a ball left. Yeah, probably around 50 grams left. So I'll be able to make a pair of socks with that. So I'll have socks to match my top. That always makes a girl happy. And I also repeated the same ribbing around the bottom. Now, I posted some pictures this morning. Um, I was still in my house uh, unders. Uh, <laughs> so the girls were not up where they belonged. And it kind of did affect the way that the shirt looked laying on me, of course. So uh, for some pictures and for this video, I put a proper unders on. And I am very much happier with the way the garment but the shot garment the shirt lays on me it is just about perfect length for me it comes just past the belt line and I'm very very happy with how this turned out now <clears throat> obviously this is different dye lots I um, did a swap with Thris and I got two hanks thinking, oh, I'm not sure what I want to make. Well, then I decided, well, I really want to make a top and I need at least one more. So I got it from her. So I knew that the dye lots were going to be uh, drastically different. So I, I chose to do all the, the lighter and then the darker with the sleeves and the bottom because it actually lays pretty much where I need it to, to have that just be the top half of the shirt and the darker is the lower half. I know on camera it seems much more drastic than what it actually is uh, with the naked eye. Um, the camera does bring out the color difference quite a bit more than what you actually see. Well, all right, everybody, I have a bag order that I need to get to, so I'm going to run on out of here. I truly hope that you are crafting your happiness today. And until next time, bye for now.